Everyone, another Shabbat story over here. As you can see, I'm surrounded by lid, linen and fabric over here in this uh, store over here. The famous Shabbat story there is, which is uh, popularly known, where there was a, a tailor, there was someone that was uh, making fabrics on Shabbat. And then the Paritz, the, an important uh, person in the city, actually came in and wanted a massive, massive, massive order for his thing. A once-in-a-lifetime jackpot work opportunity. So what happened, friends, over here? He started working, this rabbi did. He was a famous tailor. And the Paritz... He said, I'm going to close the shop at Chatzot at, at the time of 12 o'clock because it's Shabbat. I want to get prepared, all my stuff ready for Shabbat. So the important dignitary said, no, you've got to do it now. You've got to do it. So the, the man in the shop, the rabbi, refused. He says, no, I'm not going to actually work during this time period. It's about to be Shabbat. The guy said, I'm going to actually, I'm going to threaten you even with your life. But he was stood strong and he said no. He said no to it without any fear. Then Shabbat came in and all of a sudden a guest comes in, in the guise of Elio Anavi. And this guest told him, you actually uh, protected Shabbat. You gave up a once in life time opportunity. You risked yourself because of the fear of what could happen to you. Uh, because you wanted to have the joy and the onik Shabbat and not to uh, be unprepared. I'm going to give you a fantastic blessing because of your devotion for Shabbat. So he gave a blessing. He wanted tzaddik as a child. So what happened? The child was born to this great rabbi and his name was Rabbi Moshe Israelis, who became the Ramah, the writer of the Shulchan Aruch.